I did some live shows and I'm gonna tell you all about them. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk a bit about some of the live shows that I've done. With my old band, Folding Legs, I think we did close to 100 live shows in the six years that we were together, and most of them would be in the New York area, but we also left the US a few times as well. When we first started out back in 2009, we performed anywhere and everywhere that people would have us. So it would be living rooms and family picnics and New Year's parties, you name it. We did it, and it was a really helpful way for me to get comfortable singing in front of an audience because that was really new to me at that time. I remember the first time we were gonna perform in a proper venue with proper equipment, and I was super nervous. I thought the cord might fall out of the mic, and how would I know the levels were gonna be good? How would I know if I could hear myself? All that stuff. The gig went well, but it's endearing for me to see photos from that gig because I see that I left the orange windscreen on the mic the whole show because I didn't know what that was and I didn't even know you could take it off. Over time, I got a lot more comfortable and I started really enjoying being a front woman and incorporating wearable art and experimenting with my onstage persona in different ways. Many of the wearable art pieces that I used with the band either already have or will soon be getting an episode of their own on here, so keep your eyes peeled for that. From those years, I have some particularly fond memories of performing in the smaller venues around Brooklyn and in Lower Manhattan. Places like Pete's Candy Store, Pianos, Arlene's Grocery, Rockwood Music Hall, the studio at Webster Hall, and many places that have closed since then, like Cake Shop, which had this funky downstairs area for live shows, and Monkey Town in Williamsburg, which was this performance space inside a cube consisting of four walls of projection screens, and Cameos, which had this cool art piece hanging over the stage. It was this kind of stringy stuff that hung down from the ceiling, so whenever anyone filmed your set at Cameos, it always looked cool because of that stringy stuff. Down the line, when I launched my solo project Galadilla back in 2017, I found myself wanting to experiment with live music in other types of venues. I envisioned an audiovisual live show that would marry theater and performance art with live music and video installation, and I wanted it to be something that could fit in a gallery space. So I put together a live show that involved two video monitors on stands that flanked me on either side of the stage. And they were showing footage that I had assembled and edited specifically for each song in the set. Then I controlled the backing track audio and the video feed from the stage with a MIDI controller that ran through my laptop. My first performance as Galeria and my first performance with that setup was at New Two Gallery in Chinatown in LA in November 2017 and it was such a blast. The experience of performing in such an intimate space that was really well lit, and there was no stage, so I'm on the same level as the audience, and there's no fourth wall, all that was really powerful, and it's exactly the kind of stuff I wanted to explore with this live show. I went on to do some more shows like that during 2018, and they continue to feel really fitting for that project. The biggest show I've done with Galeria so far was my hometown debut in Stockholm at Theater Guillotin. That show just meant the world to me. Performing in that theater really brought me back to my theater roots, and to get to perform that show in that space at that time for the people that were there that evening is a really special memory for me. I look forward to keep experimenting with new ways to bring an experience to a live audience and seeing where that journey will take me. And that's something I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.